Support for Ukraine at the state capitol tonight after Russia invades the Eastern European nation. Thanks for staying with us at 530. I'm Curtis Smith. And I'm Adrian Moore. Our news is also streaming live on CBS News Sacramento. We want to get right to CBS 13's Laura Hayfley. She is live at the state capitol for us tonight where the rally supporting Ukraine is already underway. Laura. Well, more than 100,000 Ukrainian immigrants live here in California, and a portion of that community gathered on the Capitol steps this afternoon to pray for their loved ones and also to protest the violence between their home country and Russia. The beginning of this war in Eastern Europe felt thousands of miles away here in Sacramento. We know, of course, right now, Russian military troops are active in the Kyiv region of Ukraine and families here in California are keeping a close eye on the conflict zone because their uncles and cousins and nieces are there. One man we spoke to. Yeah, we lost connections with them. Yeah, they're not responding. I think some of them fleeing to Europe. Uh, some of them are afraid to speak right now. So if Russia will occupy the whole Ukraine, they're, they're going to be on the list uh, for them to be arrested. I'm an American now, and uh, I know what freedom is. And I think they're in the front right now fighting for their freedom. President Biden suggested this morning in his address to the nation that the motivation behind President Putin is to rebuild the Soviet Union. That thought absolutely terrifying, not just for the families here, but they tell us for their loved ones who right now are trying to get out of Ukraine.